Hey everybody, it's Wick, and it's time for me to go over my top 10 Amazon FBA sales of 2018. And um, it's going to be a little weird because I've had over 4,000 sales on Amazon FBA. And uh, a lot of those are multiples um, of the same item. So I didn't count like, um, you know, multiples. So it was just if that one item and some of the things I sold multiples of, I had different buy cost in. So um, it's it, the top 10 is based on profit alone. So um, yeah, let's get started. Uh, the first thing here, these Sony Hi8 tapes. Um, I've been picking these up this year. Walmart's been clearing them out. But last year in January after Christmas, Amazon sold out and the price went up to $99 for a four pack. And I ended up picking up like four or five of these at a Goodwill uh, for three bucks. And um, those I sold, um, just counting one here though, um, for $99.99. And I made $79 profit in the end. Exactly. So um, that was a great pickup, especially based on all the ones I've sold. Here is a door keypad. I picked up five or six of these two at Lowe's. I don't even remember how many I got, but I did end up paying $30 for, uh, for them. And I sold for $179.99 and the profit was $103.38. So a little bit of retail arbitrage. Uh, usually with retail arbitrage, I'm having to pay a lot more per product. So the profits are not going to be as high, but when you can get something for 30 bucks and sell it for 179 and still make $103 and 38 cents, that's uh, pretty awesome. So I've been picking up a ton of these this year and <laughs> I sold, I think four or five last year of this unit. And, um, I sold them all for $139.99 and got $104 and 26 cents on this one. And this one was added because I paid $5 for this one at a garage sale. Had the remote and the cables. I don't sell these on Amazon unless I have all of that. And um, tested it. It worked. And it was in great condition. And I got $104.26. And I have five or six of these I need to get prepped and tested and sent out. So <laughs> I have a lot of electronic money just sitting around. And I that's one of my goals this upcoming year is to get a lot of that moved um, because I've just been putting it off because it's it's more work. It's easier just to pop a label on a new product and ship out. But uh, there's so much money in these used electronics and you find them so much. Um, thousands and thousands of dollars every year. Um, I probably could just sell the electronics and make a great living is how often you find them and how many I got stored. It's just um, there's always something taking your time. Uh, this was a pretty cool pickup. This is a Sony digital voice recorder. I ended up getting this on uh, locally. I can't remember if it was Facebook Marketplace or Let Go, but I ended up getting it for uh, $10. I sold it for $139.99 and I got $104.26 profit in the end. So um, anything sealed Sony, um, I'm always going to try to buy if it's at the right price because it just sells well. Um, actually a few things on here might be, so, oh, maybe not, maybe not. I guess the, only the cassette tapes and this was the Sony products. So <laughs> always, I, out of the 4,000 items I've sold this year, a lot of them were Sony products. So it's just, um, my average sale cost, I think on items like $41. So, um, there's just a lot of stuff, you know, below the top 10 threshold that's sold. So it, it was definitely my best year ever. So, um, on Amazon FBA and, um, this helped a lot. Uh, this was in a video somewhat recently. I found this brand new sealed at Goodwill for $4.99 plus tax, uh, it's Emerson caller ID. I sold it for $149.99 on Amazon and it sold really quick and got $124 and six cents. So that was a great sale. I'll definitely keep an eye on these. I actually found a used one uh, even more recently, which is going to probably sell for around a hundred bucks. So um, the reason it sold so well is because it is a larger screen and it's talking and uh, uh, those out there who are hard of hearing and uh, have hard vision, they, they are looking for this kind of stuff and it's not, you know, mass produced and available still. So uh, if you happen to have a new one, you just get a premium price for it. Here's some more outdated um, technology, I guess you would call it. 
Uh, landline phones, not a lot of people using them anymore, but they're definitely still sought after. Uh, this one I paid $7.99 for. No, $6.99. Um, I might have paid, I feel like I paid $7.99 because I just sold this recently. Maybe I got that wrong on here. But uh, regardless, I, I got, I sold it for $149.99 and got $126.04. It still blows my mind that you can sell this kind of stuff for that. You, know, you look at the used price, it looks like it's $39.98, uh, but this was still sealed. It had the little uh, AT&T labeled sticker over the, the seal, so I knew that it was new and um, got a great return on it. Uh, Mr. Naki uh, Drumstick Musical Instrument. I still don't know 100% what this is, but this is one of my favorite finds of the year. Uh, I found this in a Salvation Army, brand new. Uh, it, had, it was eight bucks, and I ended up selling it for one hundred and ninety nine ninety nine, and got one hundred and fifty two dollars and fifty two cents profit. And I thought this was going to be my number one this year, um, but when I started looking at my sales records, I, I seen that it wasn't going to be, and um, it should be a little bit higher up on the list. But Amazon charged so much in fees for some reason on this product. Uh, I think it was considered a musical instrument, so maybe there's a different uh, fee tier for that. I'm not aware of. I don't sell a lot of musical instruments. Uh, but I did sell some more things, um, even less money than Mr. Naki here, and it still the, the profit was higher. But um, it was just really cool to see this unique like Japanese toy, Salvation Army Sealed. Uh, you never know what you're going to find at thrift store. I looked up the prices, and I was really shocked. You look at them now, the lowest new price here on Amazon is $515.12. And I would not be shocked if someone sold it for that. Because mine sold really quick. And um, I kind of wish I would have priced it higher. It also ended up going to Israel, I noticed, um, which is pretty cool. So, uh, still not sure what it is. Um, I guess he plays the drums or something. I, I don't know. Um, something to research, I guess. But... Uh, Really cool. I love finding really unique things like this. So here's this Lifetone Fire Alarm Bed Shaker. Um, I, I tend to find these fairly often at Goodwills and garage sales. Um, over the past five years, I've found them quite often. And um, I found one earlier in the year for five bucks at a garage sale. I sold it for $189.99. Got $157.88 profit in the end. And I recently picked up a brand new one at an estate sale for 10 bucks, and sent it in to Amazon. And then there was a recall on these. So Amazon has sent that back. And um, it's unfortunate because I guess I'm not going to be able to sell these anymore. And I, I have two or three like used ones I picked up at garage sales and Goodwills. I haven't even sold yet. So there's a good example of why you should be you know, pushing out these electronics and stuff like that. Cause you never know when something's going to become unsellable after you buy it. Um, but here we are. I did sell this one and paid five bucks, got $157 and 88 cents. So a great flip nonetheless. Here is this Delta tub and shower, uh, set. I got this at a Lowe's, uh, paid $30 plus tax, sold it for $249.99, got $187 and 49 cents. So, uh, great profits there. It's honestly nothing too exciting. And a lot of stuff I sell on Amazon is just not that unique or exciting. It's just little things um, that just bring in money. But uh, since I started reselling, I've over the years, I've sold so many tub and shower faucets and stuff like that. And they always sell well and they always bring me tons of money. And I feel like a lot of these home, um, like Home Depot and Lowe's and Menards, they tend to clearance this stuff pretty low when it's when they're ready to get it out of there. So you can really find it cheap. And here is my top flip of 2018 on Amazon profit wise. It is a Philips recorder. Uh, this is just a hard disk recorder. Um, has 160 gigabytes. Picked this up at a garage sale for 10 bucks and Sold it for $249.99 and got $206.92 profit in the end. So, um, again, used electronic. I got so many DVD recorders sitting around, uh, combo units that 
you know, I, I got a stack in there now. I'm getting ready to get ready and shipped and sold because uh, for one, they take up a lot of space and uh, two, they just bring in a great amount of money. So again, that's one of my goals this year. And I seem like every year I tend to sell a DVD recorder and that's pretty much the top sale. Uh, I know I sold a Magnavox one um, recorder combo unit last year. I think it was close to $400. I sold that for used. I picked it up at a garage sale for like 40 bucks. So I'll keep buying and flipping them as long as I can keep making money on these things. But that's the top sale of 2018, $206. If you notice, I did an eBay one. If you haven't seen that, you can go check that out as well. Um, the eBay top 10 had a more unique items and higher profit uh, ratio. A lot of things on Amazon, it just seems like you know you don't find at a good enough discount if they're really valuable. Uh, a lot of things are definitely the electronics for Amazon. Um, sealed Sony stuff, sealed locks, uh, the obscure AT&T phone, stuff like that. But that's going to do it for the video, everybody. I want to thank you for your support um, on YouTube over 2018. The channel's grown a lot. And there's been a couple times where I've thought about, you know, just being done with the channel because it takes up time but there's always people that just keep liking commenting and it, and it grows and um i love doing it and i really appreciate everybody who appreciates my videos and the time i put into it uh, but hit that like button for me subscribe bell notification you can follow me on twitter instagram flipping underscore junk and this has been wick until next time